I'm going to show you a tool called Storify. Uh, it's a tool for creating social media timelines and uh, it's a wonderful tool not only for uh, yourself as a teacher to be able to Pre present material to students uh, that's sort of aggregated from around the web, but it's a really great student uh, student learning tool as well, uh, where they can actually create and submit Storify stories um, around any number of topics. So let's take a look at how it works. This is the Storify interface at storify.com. Uh, you should also note that if you have an iPad, there's an iPad app now that is really great as well. Um, Storify is free to use, and basically what it does is aggregates content from around the web into a storyline. So here's an example of a Storify story that I did uh, for an event that I was involved with. And uh, you can see that it's got uh, a title and then a brief description. And as you scroll down, you can see um, a bunch of different things. There's images, there are Twitter posts, there are um, articles, links to articles, um, Im again more images, uh, and you can actually see how a story can come together. You can even use video. Uh, if I scroll down here a little bit more, I think I'll come across a video at some point. Um, there's a video. So you can see how you could actually create a story around an entire event or uh, create a story around an entire topic. It's a really great tool for research and uh, even for presenting content to students. I'm going to show you how easy it is to create a Storify story. So I'm going to go into a story that I've been working on here in my drafts folder. And here's a story about solar energy. So if, um, you know, if your students were working on a project like this, I just need to wait for it to load up here. Um, then they could actually compile all of their research information into one consistent timeline. So again, this is the, the editing view and uh, it's very, very simple to use. All of these fields are editable. So this is my title and my description and then you have some things that I've dumped in. I've got a Wikipedia entry. I've got a, uh, a couple of Twitter posts about solar energy. I have a, a funny video about solar energy. Um, here's an image and again some more articles. So I'll show you how easy it is to actually find information and dump it into the timeline. So if I go to Twitter for example and I type in uh, solar panels and I hit enter I'm going to see a whole bunch of different posts, recent Twitter posts that people have made about solar panels. And if I want, if I found one that I thought might be interesting to add to my timeline, I just have to pick it up and drag it into my timeline. This can get a little bit uh, cumbersome because it's it gets quite long. Um, you can actually go to the collapsed view here where you can just see the snippets and this is great because now it means I can move things around in the timeline very very easily uh, if I want to you know adjust the way things are going to look. So again I can scroll through here, I can find uh, you know, some various different items. If I wanted to remove something, I could remove it by just clicking on the X and then it goes away. Um, it lets me search across different types of social networks. So I can actually search on YouTube and adding a video to my timeline is really just as simple as dragging and dropping it. I can search for images that I could use in my presentation. Um, and I can also perform just a regular Google search, which is great because it means that I can find articles and additional information and research. Um, if I knew of an, uh, a, a URL or a website that I, I knew the link of, it was saved somewhere else, I could just embed that URL as well. So as you can see, it's really, really easy to uh, to create this social media timeline. And then if I expand the view again, you can see how it all starts to come together. Once I'm ready to go, I would just hit publish. I can actually notify people through Twitter and that sort of thing if I want to, uh, that I've published a new story. So you could add that to your Twitter feed. And then once I'm published, you'll see that it comes up here. 
So I've got my, my Storify story. I can now publicize this link to people. I can share it on Twitter. I can share it on Blackboard. And I also have the ability to um, click on this embed tool. And when I click this, it gives me a code that I could then embed into my web page, my blog, uh, or you know anywhere else, any other type of web page that you wanted this story to come up in. So that's a really neat uh, thing too. And I also have the ability to export this directly to, um, for example, a WordPress site if I had a, a WordPress blog or a Tumblr blog uh, or a, a bunch of different tools. So. Storify is, like I said, a really great tool for being able to aggregate information and tell a simple story. It's a great research tool. It's great for brainstorming and hashing out ideas. Uh, you could use this as a group project um, for students. It's totally free and uh, totally uh, an interesting and really fun tool to use in your class.